the range mapper, useful for converting one range of numbers to another range of numbers. Let's say you had this slider, and you wanted it to turn this servo 360 degrees when you moved it up. One problem you'd run into is that the slider only goes from 0 to 100. So if you connected it just like this, it would only go just more than a quarter turn, which isn't enough. This is where the range mapper comes in. To set up the range mapper, connect your input range to map and value. Now, the min1 and max1 is your input range, so in my case, it's going to be 0 and 100. And that tells the range mapper what range it's expecting to map. And now, the min2 and max2 is the output range, which in my case, I want it to go from 0 to 360. So now it should do a full rotation, just like that. The range mapper is great because you can change this after you get it set. So maybe I want to do two rotations, just throw in 720 just like that. You always got to make sure to have these values set to the right values. So say I switch this slider out for a lever. The lever's special because it goes from negative 100 to positive 100, just like it's a single axis of a joystick or something like that. So if I wanted to switch to a lever, I would first install it just like this slider, and then I'd have to change this to negative 100 because it has a different range from the slider. Now it should work just the same. Here's an example of where I used a range mapper in one of my devices. On my Huey helicopter, on the throttle, which is the left stick y-axis, I have it going straight into a range mapper. And this converts the negative 100 to 100 range of the left stick y-axis to 35 to 80, which I have figured out is the perfect range to go into the throttle. I need to be able to customize this easily to get the helicopter to hover up and down. If I were trying to use like a math expression or something here, it'd be hard to customize, but this makes it super easy. Just change the values a little bit, and then fly it, and maybe change it a little more, and that's where the range mapper really shines. You can get the exact range you want. 